All right, hey guys, it's Eckity again. Uh, well, not the way I wanted to introduce this thing to the channel, but got one of those new uh, 49cc Tau Tau scooters off of Amazon, actually. It was only uh, 580 bucks around there, not including shipping. Shipping was a little expensive, but you know, it's like 200 pounds. But I got this basically just for on base with gas prices going up. I just trying to save a couple bucks and I mean I like motorcycles and this is you can ride one of these without even having a motorcycle license or taking any kind of safety course because 49 cc you know but the reason I have it all tore apart right now is because I kept on blowing fuses and if you look on any YouTube video of these it's actually highly recommended once you get it and put it together to take off all the panels, make sure none of the wires are, you know, like, um, not plugged in or grounded out to a chassis or just any bare wire showing or anything. I just figured that out the hard way because I kept blowing fuses, like I said, uh, and I was tracing to try to find out why the hell it was blowing fuses. I noticed last night my tail light, when I'd hit the brake, it wouldn't light up, it would actually go out and like my headlight and gauge cluster light would dim. And then when I got home, I noticed when I turned it off and turned the ignition back on that there was no lights coming on and that's when I noticed the fuse was blown. So I got home at like, you know, one in the morning so I wasn't gonna mess with it last night. But I looked this morning, took off all the panels, was trying to chase wires, use my multimeter to see if I could find any uh, shorts. But I ended up not even having to use the multimeter because once I took off the seat and the rear basket and cover and all that. I noticed where this screw goes through to the light housing, this wire was actually tucked behind it and there was a hole right here. Let's see if I can show. Uh, let's see here. And if you, you know, kind of look closely, it was actually grounding out into that wire. So I'm thinking that that's what was the cause of my fuse blowing. At least that's the only obvious thing that I can see that's wrong. Because now, when I turn on the light and hit the brake switch, the light lights up like it's supposed to. And the fuse hasn't blown. I started it up, seems to be fine. So that's just kind of a public service announcement. If you buy one of these Chinese scooters off of eBay, Amazon, you know, some scooter dealer in your town, make sure you really look it over because they're not like you know made to the highest standard that's hence why they're cheaper you know if you buy like a Honda or Yamaha scooter obviously it's probably gonna be a lot better you won't even have to do anything but yeah just kind of a quick little announcement there also my idle screw carburetor stripped out like I was trying to adjust it a little faster so it would actually idle and not stall at stoplights. So I had to improvise and find a screw that I had and retap it. You know, kind of get a rig, but I guess it works. Not what I was expecting when I bought a brand new scooter, you know, but you do what you got to do. Yeah, I kind of plan on making more videos of this in the upcoming weeks or so. There's a lot you can do with these little things to make them fun. I already have like my GoPro mount on my helmet, so. See if I can take some videos of it. Yeah. Guess that's better. To them.